I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The real problem, and its only cure. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all platforms. And donate. Our Higher, Th Higher Things as a group is an organization all about the gospel in the ears of our kids. If you think that's important, give today. Link in the description. So uh, the real problem and solution, I'm here in the bunker because the office is closed, um, but uh, that doesn't stop us from having fun. And so let's take a look at the traditional gospel lesson for the um, 19th Sunday after Trinity. You'll see here that Jesus in Matthew 9, a paralytic's brought to him, a guy lying on a mat. There's no evidence that the paralytic believes, the people believe. And Jesus sees the guy on the mat and he says to him this. He sees their faith, the people who brought him and the guy on the mat. And he says to him, be of good cheer or take heart or chip her up or chin up. Your sins are forgiven you. Now, the people there all know one thing for sure. That's not his problem. I mean, anybody who's anyone who knows anything about anything about religion know that that problem with that guy is he's lying on the mat. The issue is not churchy, it's solved with churchy words. It's like, heal the man. His real problem is he's stuck on a mat. But what if that's not the real problem? What if that's not your problem and my problem? That our real problem isn't that we're surrounded by stupid people. Our real problem isn't that parts of us aren't working anymore. I mean, look at my finger. Four surgeries on this, five surgeries on this thing. Look at how warped that is. That's messed up. Real problem isn't, you know, as I recover from COVID, um, now that I am recovered, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm recovered, but I still get tired. That's not the real problem. All of those things are all symptoms of the problem. I can fix my finger. I can fix the stupid people around me. I could, I, could, I could get my energy back. And I still have the same problem I had before, which is my sin. And the only cure and the only solution for that sin is Jesus, his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death. And the words, I forgive you, are not just sort of churchy words, an ecclesiastical prescription to make you feel better for a time. No, the real problem, sin, is solved by the precious blood of Christ shed for me on the cross, and that is delivered to me in the word. The Pharisees lose their stuffing. This man is blaspheming. Well, Jesus, knowing their thoughts, says, why do you think evil in your hearts? Which is easier, for me to forgive, says to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise up and walk? And then this is so important in, very, in six, so that you will know that the Son of Man has exousion, authority to forgive sins, okay? Um, and he looked at the guy, looked at the paralytic and said, rise, take your mat and go to your house. And he arose and went home. This is a healing that is done solely for one purpose. To tell us that Jesus can forgive our sins. To tell us that the prescription isn't painkillers or alcohol or or um, Advil, or Tylenol PM, the real prescription, the thing which is going to fix it, the thing that's going to save you and me, is Christ. And so that we would know that when he says, I forgive you, our sins are truly forgiven, because it's backed by Calvary and, and Easter, he heals this guy. I want you to, to think about the universal changing reality that Jesus makes in your life 
when he forgives your sins. How he reconciles you with God and how he reconciles you with others. Not by, by putting a band-aid on the problem. You can... But by, by curing your true disease in the forgiveness of sin. The sting of sin is death. The strength of, of, of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who has freed us from the law in Christ Jesus. Freed us from death and freed us from the only enemy that could truly kill us. Sin. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Your sins are forgiven, even from the bunker. And this has been another Higher Things video short.